So this is 99% likely Y equals 25 questions and answer. So the question one. The question one says that state five characteristics of magnetic line of forces. So the first answer is that number one is that they never intersect each other. So they never intersect each other. So number two. Number two is that they form closed loops. They form closed loops. And number three. Number three is that they are closer where the magnetic field is stronger. They are closer. They are closer where the magnetic field magnetic field is stronger and then number four number four is that one of the number four characteristics of magnetic line of force is that they originate from the north pole and end at the south pole so that's number four they originate they originate from the from and the south pole and the number five which will be the last one is that the the direction of the feed at any point is given by the tangent to the line the direction of the field at any point is given by the tangent to the line. So these are the five characteristics of magnetic line of forces. Now let's move to question two. In question two, now let's move to question two. Now given that three five L undergoes an alpha decay. This is question two. So write an equation representing the process and identify the daughter nuclei. So look at this. This five means the atomic number. Why this thirteen means um the, the atomic mass. So now how do we give about it? Then you ask to find the alpha decay. We already know that that will be write an equation representing the the process. So that will be thirteen L. So if we extract the alpha decay, that will be alpha. That alpha is helium. So that will be two here and here is four. So plus. So this is um five. Five minus two. That's three. That's three. Then um this is um thirteen. Thirteen minus four. Nine. So this is lithium. Lithium. So then they said and identify the daughter nuclei. So the daughter nuclei, the daughter nuclei, the daughter nuclei is 93Li. That's lithium. So that's the answer for this question number two. This is the equation representing the process, and then this is the daughter nuclei. So question three says that mention five differences between laser light and then white light. So let's tabulate. So the laser light and then the white light. So for the laser light, number one, laser light is monochromaton. That means they have one wavelength. So laser light is what? Monochromaton. So it is monochromatic that is it has one wavelength it has one wavelength so what about white light so white light will not be poly since this one is mono then a white white then a white light will not be what it's not be poly so white light it is polychromatic 
is polychromatic. That is a mixture of wavelengths. That is a mixture of wavelength. So another difference between the two is that laser light is coherent. So it is coherent. So that is meaning that waves are in phase. That's the meaning. Waves are in phase. White light, why white light is what? Incoherent. So this one it is incoherent. Coherent. And then and then, then what does that mean? It means that the wave are out of phase. So that's the meaning. Incoherent. Number three. The number three difference is that laser light is produced by stimulated emission. Yeah. So it is produced by stimulated emission. Now, what about white light? White light is produced by thermal or natural source. So produced by thermal. Thermal. By thermal. Or what? Or natural source. Or natural source. So natural source like what? Like sunlight. E.g. Sunlight. Or probably we call it bulb. So another difference is between number four. Another difference between laser light and white light is that laser light is highly directional. So this one it is highly directional so what about white light whereby white light is what spread out all i mean it used to spread out in all direction so white light spread so white light spread out that means it spread out in all direction so spread out in all direction so that one used to spread out and the number five, which is the last one, laser light is very intense and concentrated. That's the number five difference. So laser light is it is very intense and what and concentrated. Now, what about so if this one is very intense and concentrated, then what about the white light? White light is what is less intense but more diffuse so it is less intense but what sorry and more diffuse rather yes and more diffuse so that's the difference between the white light and the what and the laser light so the question four so question so question four, a cord of natural length five meter was extended by 0 0.04 meter when a force of six newton was applied. What would be the way new new length? What would be the new length when a force of eight newton is applied? So how do we solve it? Now this this question is related to Hooke's law because it deals with expansivity, linear expansivity. So how do we start? Then we are going to say the length, you can see. A code of natural length. Natural length L is what five meter. Then they now said it has, was extended by 0 0.04 meter. This is this this is what the expansion linear expansivity, which is what E the E the E is 0 0.04 meter. So then saying when a force of six newton, that is our F1. F1 is six newton. Then and I said was applied. What would be the new length when a force of eight newton is applied? So our F two is going to be eight newton. So after having our length, then we are asked to look for what our L two. That is so that will be our new length. So our L two, which is the new length, is unknown. So what? So therefore, what would you do using Hooke's law? We are going to say F equals to k times e. So from here now we. Are from here now we are we are asked to look for k so k will be equals to f over e now what is the force that's our f1 or f1 is 6 newton over the e is what 0 0.04 meter and that is going to be what that's going to be 150 150 newton per meter 
So after getting that, then our new length. So our new um. So finding the new extension with what eight newton force is not going to be what e two is equals to e two equals to f two over what over k. We already know our k to be what one fifty. So that is going to be our f two is what eight. That will be eight newton over one fifty. So if we divide that one fifty newton per meter, if we divide that, that, that is going to be zero point zero five three three meter as our what e two. So we have gotten our e our e two now. So now the new length. Why finding the new length? So new length will now be l two, which is the new length is going to be what the l one plus l one plus what plus e two. So whereby l one is what from this our from the question l1 is what 5 meter 5 meter plus the e2 is what is 0 0.05 so if we had it together that would be 5.05 meter so the question 5 says a gun i mean a a rubber gun is used to project a stone of mass 40 gram if the rubber of the gun has an so calculate the stone speed of projection so now the mass of stone the mass of mass of stone and that is what 40 gram if you convert it to kilogram that will be 0 0.04 kilogram and also if from the question we are given the elasticity constant that is k k is what 350 newton per meter and the extension which is you can let's use x for the extension and that is what four centimeter the stretch approximately 0 0.04 meter so from there now we and we know that our elastic potential energy is what elastic potential energy is a um, one over two k x square what is k k is this the the constant the x is the word the stretch so k x square and we also know that kinetic energy is what Kinetic energy is in 1 over 2 mv square. 1 mv square. So energy, energy, then we equate both together. So equating it together, that will be 1 over 2 mv, 1, 1 over 2 kx square equals to 1 over 2 mv square. So if we equate that together, then what is it going to give us? We, are, we already know our k, we know our x, then we know our, um, from the question, we know our mass. So we are looking for the v. That's what we are looking for. So now let's substitute. So 1 over 2 times the k is what? 350 times the x is what? From this question here, 0 0.04 square equals to 1 over 2 times the mass. The mass is what? From the question here, 0 .0 0 0.04. And then we are looking for v square. So we can do the normal basic arithmetic. By the time we do that, we should be able to get v square equals to 350 times 0 0.04 square all over 0 .0, 0 0.04 so after doing that then after doing that because for me now this thing i did it from by saying if 1 over 2 cancel 1 over 2 so it makes our work easier we have this over this so for me now we can now say v square equals to 350 times 0 0.0016 over 0 0.04 so v square equals to what 14 and then the square root of 14 that will be 3.74 meter per second as a velocity so question six says that a vertical wire is suspended from a support with a mass of 2.5 gram attached to the force i'm um, attached to the free end to stretch the wire if the load on the wire extends it if the load on the wire extends it by two centimeter yeah if the load on the wire extends it by two centimeter determine the energy gain by the wire so you are given g and that is as selection due to gravity as well 10 meter per second so now from what we are given we are given that the mass the mass is what the mass that is m is what 2.5 gram 
converting it to kilogram that is 0 0.0025 kilogram so the extension the extension is what which is known as e x that is two centimeter so it's extended to 0 0.02 meter if you convert it centimeter to meter is this particular this so we are given g acceleration to the gravity as well 10 meter per second square so what are we going to do we already know that from here we can calculate our force so force equals to for m um, so force equals to mass times what mass times acceleration which is f is equals to m a so now what is our m from here our m is 0 0.02 0 0.0025 kilogram times the a is what 10 10 meter per second 10 meter per second square so that is what is 0 0.025 kilogram meter per second square also known as what also known as 0 0.025 newton so after getting our force now what is the next thing we already know that e now we already know that e that is what elastic potential energy e e is equal to what 1 over 2 times f times x so which is equal to 1 over 2 times now what is our f that is the force the force is 0 0.02 0 0.025 newton that's the force times what what's the x the x is 0 0.02 0 0.02 meter so the e will now be equal to what 0 0.00025 newton meter so also known as what joe so the elast elastic potential energy will now be equal to what zero 0.0025 joule so that is all so share this video give us a like thumb and give us a nice comment bye